Welcome everybody to today's G.I. Joe news video. My name is Usual Mike, welcome to my Television. In today's video, some awesome stuff. We'll check out the review of Barbecue, the first one that popped up online. The new Master of Disguise, Zartan, we'll actually see him change colour this time. We've got a different video to show you. New logos they've brought out that may roll over into classified and some future lines or characters. Plus, a box to open. Hasbro Pulse? No, this is from my good friend Martin Footer. Stick around for that. First up, let's check out that awesome video that popped up online. This is from a guy in Singapore who, I'll tell you my little story, I found out he bought it from a place called Robo Robo Toys. Anyway, contacted them. These have a barbecue. They said, yes, but are you a new box collector? And I'm like, hell yeah. They had some damaged stock left over only, so it was kind of defeating the purpose that the last stuff they had was crushed they sent out all the good stuff early this guy got the nice clean square box got a review i opted not to buy it from them because that's pretty much in my part of the world the only place at the moment where you can get yourself a barbecue singapore singapore anyway you guys keep an eye out target will have them up for pre-order anyway let's get to this awesome review i bagged this figure out originally because i saw the images online that were blurry and it's like it's an orange figure but there's a lot of detail and good stuff on this figure that I like. There's lots of little subtle changes in his outfit. Let's check it out. So here's a quick look at the box. I really like the artwork in front. It's got these warped colors, kind of like heat vision, and also conveying that he's literally in the heat of battle. At the top of the box, he's got number 32. And onto the bottom, some product information and the barcode. Moving on to the side, it's got the same style of artwork and some fancy flames and sparks at the bottom. Moving on to the back, we're actually zoomed into two different locations on Cobra Island this time. And we can compare the locations on the back of the box with the Viper box. As you can see, different locations. And moving on to the last side of the box. He's got a couple symbols over here to show his skills. This looks like he's knowledgeable in chemicals and also capable of providing aid to his fellow Joes. So let's go ahead and get him open. Out of the box, the action figures in the middle of the tray. He's got a small handgun, two axes, a hose, as well as a backpack. Smaller axe fits snugly into both of his hands as well as also slotting nicely into that C-clip on his right thigh. And once again, we see all accessories have their storage on the action figure. So right now, barbecue goes hands-free, and this is really awesome from Hasbro. An overview of barbecue sculpt, his head, vest, and arms are all new parts. From his neck down, his torso, his hips, and his legs are all part reused from Destro. That sculpt reuse actually makes sense because that bulkier Destro body makes him look like his suit is lined with fire protection heat shielding and therefore he should actually look bulkier and bigger than the regular Joe like Flint. For a size comparisons, here he is with Roadblock and Commando Snake Eyes, Scarlet and Lady J, Cobra Commander and Zartan, Cobra Trooper and Cobra Viper, some Marvel Legends and some Star Wars Black Series. Awesome, so let me know in the comments where you'd be picking this bad boy up. Another Cobra Island one, maybe hard to get, but then again, we got Major Blood quite easy after a while. It started to turn up for you guys by the caseload in your local targets. Let's move on now to the Zartan. The Zartan video I showed recently was from Hong Kong where they put the Zartan figure in a glass of water to change its color and it didn't really kind of work because the water wasn't cold enough. <laughs> There's a comment about waterboarding in my thing and I think that was fantastic. Thank you to whoever put that comment. <laughs> anyway, here's the video of it turning purple once in the freezer, once it's really, really cold. Check this out. There you go, it works, it works. And this figure isn't widely released yet, so if you've got one, whew, stick it in the freezer. Maybe not yet. Okay, we also talked about recently here, uh, the Jada figure, which is a figure, vehicle of the Vamp 2 uh, remote control car. Looks fantastic. It is 114 scale, a little bit bigger than your average classified, but it can, it, it'll go with it. The comment I saw online of the person who posted this image here 
dun, 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 in your target stores now. It's a little bit flimsy on top, just be aware of that. The top, the shell casing on top of the vamp is a little bit thin. Just check it out before you buy it. Just make sure yours isn't cracked or broken or anything. And if you're not going to thrash it around crazy things with it, and you're just going to put it on the shelf next to your figures, it'll be fine. So there it is. Next up, Hot Topic has some new t-shirts. What am I wearing today, Back to the Future? Oh, on, a, on a Joe video. <laughs> Anyway, they got a bunch of new shirts, new logos, and I'll put that image up on the screen. There's some of the new designs there. You've know, known about the Dreadnoughts logo. It's on the Zartan box. It's a Python Patrol, Tiger Force, Cobra Sea, G.I. Joe Space, Cobra Urban, Cobra Desert, G.I. Joe Sandstorm, Hello Dusty, and Cobra Air. So eventually those little logos will become prevalent within the classified line, maybe. So we'll get figures that'll have their little, have we got some? Just for all years I don't know. Behind the Zartan figure, you see the Dreadnoughts logo in there. So that they'll bring out different characters, different logos behind. Not just the normal generic Joes and Cobra logos. So that's something to look forward to. You may have seen this already, G.I. Joe and Mego are teaming up together to create this pack here. It's called G.I. Joe X Mego Ninja Rival Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. They are available for pre-order right now for $59.99 and Hasbro Pulse shipping around September or October. There's a interesting shot of the packaging. You could pretty much print that out in the scale that they are. I think, what are Migos? Seven inches. If you collect Migos, you may want to dip into this line. Interesting, just thought I'd share with you. Another thing from His Tank, they're talking about the HasLab for G.I. Joe. It'll probably be in six inch because that's where their focus is. What do you guys want it to be? Uh, I've looked at some of the people's replies on that forum thread and I came up with some of the what I would per personally like to see if they were going to do a vehicle, the APC, this amphibious personal carrier. The original one had 3.75 inch Joes and this 28 can fit in there. So imagine 28 classified figures jammed into this. That would be fantastic. You'd want to collect as many figures as you can to fill it up. So out of box collectors can enjoy it. Or this one here. The Cobra Terrodrome, of course, it is just a stunning toy back in its day. Put that in six inch scale. Wonderful, wonderful. Right, let's get to cracking the box open. Thank you, Martin Footer, for gifting me this. If you want to send some fan mail, there's the address there. Here's your mic television, PO Box 957, Liz 1, New South Wales 2480, Australia. I'll unbox it all on the air for you guys. Um, he did write on the back what's in the box. And he hinted to me also on social media what I'm sending. But he wrote chocolates. My daughter saw this and this turned up the same day as the Star Wars video I posted recently and chocolates traveling around the world it has been opened already. So <laughs> oh penguin and yes we've half just eaten them. My daughters love these. Thank you very much Martin. They are the Pommy Tim Tam I'm gonna call them. Tim Tams are very famous in this country. Everybody probably Every household will have something like that in their cupboard. Anyway, look at this. He sent me a note. Woo! Yo, Mike, please find the enclosed action figure. I won't spoil which action figure it is yet. <laughs> and you'll find some penguins. The UK version of Tim Tams. Keep up the good work, Martin. Thank you, Martin. You're a legend. Check your mailbox. I sent you something nice. And look, you can tell. <gasps> Star action figures. They don't ship to Australia. But the figure that he decided to get me from Star Action Figures, and I appreciate it very, very much, was well, the final one, final so far, to the Retro Collection. The one that I didn't have, oh, the Scarlet. Lovely, lovely. An original Joe from back in the day. She came in, in closely, that little face. There we go, that's better. Damn fine figure. Always say, for the women, softer the faces, the better figure. That is very, very nice. Thank you very much, Martin. She's so lovely, in fact. I'm gonna put her straight into an Aussie sci-fi collectibles acrylic case. Look at that. Lovely. In the back. Sit that down there. Ta-da. <laughs> Before I go, guys, I want you to check out a couple of awesome images of people's collections. You know that uh, they re-released some stuff from Target. And some of you guys in the US went absolutely blitzkrieg mad and collected these. First image comes from George Hardy 
fantastic. Looks like he had fun getting all the Cobra Island figures. This one's from Andy Wilson. Brilliant stuff, my friend. And a few images here from my buddy, Chaz the Guru. What a collection. Wish I had that kind of space. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, there's my links, Amazon affiliates, down in the description below. Click the link, buy yourself something nice, helps out the channel. If not, check out my Redbubble store, buy some merch, support the channel as well. Or if you'd like to become a member, there's also the link to hit the join button and become a member of the channel. You can follow me on social media at usualmike30 on Twitter or on Instagram at usualmiketv. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, tap the little bell for notifications, slap a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.